600 pound deadlift. It's time to do it with Hewitt once again, and we're back with another episode of In Pursuit of the 600 pound deadlift. Where every video, I'm going to try out a new one rep max. I'm going to be sharing a quick training tip with you, and I'm going to be testing a different pre workout supplement. Like I talked about in my last video, I had to take a little bit of a layoff from heavy pulling due to injuries and the pursuit of some different training goals. But in getting back into uh, training a little heavier now, and I'm looking forward to seeing what my one rep max is this time. But before I get into that, I want to share a quick training tip with you. Uh, for this video, my training tip is to try to increase your training frequency. So a lot of traditional old school programs will have you on five or six day splits. So you're hitting each muscle group once per week or even less frequently than that. Uh, but if you can ideally hit each exercise at least twice a week, even two to three times a week, you will make faster progress in strength gains. And even for hypertrophy, it's beneficial, as long as you're allowing proper recovery. So I've now increased my deadlift frequency to twice a week. But because this is a very taxing exercise on your nervous system, I'm only pulling heavy once per week. And on the second workout, I'm focusing on more repetition effort or speed work. So before we get into lifting, this is the pre-workout supplement I'm gonna be testing out this week. Uh, super freak, so I'm looking forward to trying it out. Um, it has enough caffeine in it. I won't be needing to take uh, my caffeine supplements in addition to this. Uh, I think for a half scoop, it has about 200 milligrams of caffeine. So for a full scoop, I'm looking at about 400 milligrams of caffeine. And we got some ginseng, altyrosine, some different amino acids, a whole bunch of stuff that's going to get me jacked and wired, hopefully. Four hundred and seventy five. Yes, yes. Getting closer to five hundred. <sighs> Woo! Oh, yeah. I feel that stuff, man. Okay, so my form wasn't perfect, but 475 went up pretty easy. I'm expecting in the next four to six weeks, I'll be able to hit 500 for a single, and it'll feel good to get back into the 500s. Uh, I definitely noticed the difference with the Super Freak. So that is a pre-workout supplement that I'm gonna use on the regular for sure. Next time, I'm still gonna test out something different. Uh, I think I'm gonna throw in some geranium. I got a little bit of that stashed away, so I'm gonna test that out as well. So stay tuned for next time while I hopefully pull in the 500s again. And until then, stay strong. Hey, once again, it's time to do it with Hewitt. Welcome back to another episode of In Pursuit of the Gun Show. This is part four. And in this episode, we're gonna be looking at exercises that challenge the biceps and triceps in their fully lengthened position.